Hi, I'm Frances Proctor, otherwise known as Angel Eyes Online, and today I'm going to talk about using Zara plus Equid to easily add a shopping cart to your Zara Design site. <clears throat> so in this video we're going to cover setting up your Equid shop and installing that shop right directly into your Zara site with just a few clicks. Then we're going to look at how to use Zara's preview window as a sandbox while you're getting your store set up. And finally, I'm going to show you a neat little trick to batch export graphics for category labels. And yes, I did say batch export in Zara. So are you ready? Let's go take a look at the Equid site and we'll get started there. Okay, once you have followed the prompts on the Equid site and set up your very first Equid shop and you've logged into your control panel, this is where you will land. You will land at the dashboard and here you've got some different controls on the side and over here you've got this is where Equid will provide you with all of the codes that you may need to set up your shop and under store summary basically it just gives you a quick summary of your store it gives you information like how many products you've got uh, how many customers you've got how much money your store has made obviously I'm not going to open this this up and display mine across the internet but that basically gives you an idea of what you'll find there the account summary just gives you a quick summary of your account which which account you've got how much storage you've got and it gives you this store ID number. Now this ID number is important. We're going to need that to set up our store within our Zara page. Over here it gives you to start with the product browser widget code which can be copied and it can be pasted into Zara and you can set it up that way. However with Zara's static pages when you set it up using this code directly from here you have to make sure that your page in Zara is long enough to display everything that you're gonna need to have on your page and that might not be what you want you might be able, want to be able to just quickly whip into Equid and add a few new products and not have to worry about that so the way to get around that in Zara is to use Zara's own Equid widget and I will show you that in a minute and for that is what we're going to need this code for so let's go ahead and copy this to the to the clipboard and the other thing you're going to need to do that is you are going to need your store name and when we type it into the widget in Zara it has to be typed exactly as it appears here you can see I've got caps and I've got the exclamation mark here it's got to be typed in exactly like that now I'm just gonna whip over here to the system settings and just quickly before you get before we get into the setting it up in Zara here is also where you can set up your store name. I think if I recall correctly you can also set that up when you're setting up your your account which is fine and your storefront URL. This is the URL of the page your Zara website that is published to the internet. And there's other basic information here that that you can fill out. You know, when there's a place here for an invoice logo. I'll go over some of this more in detail in the future video and the other thing you need, will need to set up to is a payment system and as you can see I've got set up for credit cards and for PayPal and I've got it set up and you can go into here and it gives you basically it gives you this and you put in your PayPal email address and you simply click save and it's almost done. There is some more stuff that you need, do need to do in in PayPal itself, 
but again, I'm not going to go into that right now because I don't want to display my PayPal information across the internet, obviously, either. But I may look at doing some screenshots and doing maybe a presentation on setting that up later. So now that we've got the two things that we need to set up our site in Zara, let's go back to Zara and quickly have a look at doing that. So here's my website page in Zara, my Good Morning Sunshine page, and you can see that I've already got my site set up on my store set up on here, and I've got some advanced things on going on on my store, so I'm not going to completely go through with the process and reinstall it, but I will over here go through the installation process. Now as you can see, here's the Zara Equid widget and you'll find that under page elements and widgets, e-commerce widgets, and we simply want to just click and drag this over to the page and the it opens up to this explanation bit here and it is a good idea to read through this stuff and it shows you how to set this all up and we're going to input the store ID that we copied from Equid so we'll just paste that in and I'm going to quickly put in my shop name just as it was in Equid so we want to go like that and I'm going to click the generate code button. Now I can insert it directly or we can have a look down here because once you click that gener generate code button another section activates and shows up here now and this allows us to change a few things and it is much easier doing it and making these changes here than actually doing it within Equid. So you can set your categories per row, grids per row, grid rows and when it's in grid view, um, number of the columns when you've got it in grid view. You can select the number of items to display per page on these by the way and per page in list view. So I've got mine set as a default of five and you can also select the number of items per page. I've got 10 items in mind before it it generates a new page <clears throat> and I find this works really well so once you've decided on all of this and, and changed any of these if you change any of these numbers you'll need to generate the code again once you've generated the code you simply click insert and Zara chugs away for a couple of minutes and your web your website store will be set up on your page. Now I'm not going to go through with the insert because I've already set up as I said before so I'll just cancel this off and we'll take a look at, at mine quickly in the preview window. So I'll click preview here and this is going to, sorry, it's going to be a little bit slower than normal to open this up because I am recording while doing this and here's the Google fonts reminder we'll just click OK on that and again this is a few seconds slower because I'm recording but now you can see I left this at a list here the last time I looked at it but you can I mean at the table but it just basically gives you the different different ways that your customers can view it. I believe the grid is the default one that, that uh, normally would show up. And this is what the, the grid would look like. And I'll just scroll down my Zara page and you do get the double scroll bars on here. That is unavoidable. Um, 
I have tried to look into a way to do away with this scroll bar, but it can't seem to be done the way Zara has their website widget set up. <clears throat> At least I haven't found the way to do it. So, this one operates the store, this one operates the page itself. It's pretty simple, it's pretty self straightforward. And then anything you do in Equid automatically shows up here, which makes it so handy if you're sandboxing your account. <clears throat> so now, you'll notice here I've got some my website advertisement categories don't have any labels yet yet you know and if I go back to the list you can see that here and if I go up here you'll notice that my services category doesn't have any labels yet so I'm going to now show you a very quick way that you can actually batch export yes I said batch export your labels directly from Zara so let's have a look at that click this off and I've got a page here of my Good Morning Sunshine store labels. Now I'm going to change my labels and I'm making these labels I've made them up with with named colors that I use on my store so this actually will help your your shop blend in much better with your store and you'll notice each one of these labels I've got them grouped which is important that they're all all each label is is a group in itself and all we have to do to batch export them now I know you must be thinking I've gone absolutely bonkers because Zara doesn't have a batch export feature and you're right it doesn't but what I'm going to do is export them as a web export this page as a website so let's go ahead and I'll just quickly do that file and I'm going to go export and you'll see I've got my EC with labels folder here and you can see I've already done it once but I'll, I'm going to quickly just quickly do it again so I'm going to just I'll just click here to load in the file name EC with labels you can name this whatever you want because you're only exporting this locally on your own computer you're not actually going to upload this <laughs> as a website and make sure that you've selected website HTML in the drop down list here and simply click export and because I've done this again I'm going to replace all of these and bada bing you're done now let's go back to export xwid equid Blah. okay so we left off here in the payment window so I'm going to go over here to our category, catalog section and we'll start here with the categories and I'll just give you a quick brief overview of the, the different category you know you can over here you can see all the categories you've got set up you can expand and, and whatnot and this shows you what you've got set up and of course if you're going to create a new category you've got a new button here for a new root category which is your main category here or a new subcategory so like for instance if I was adding a second service an ex second uh, like I've got services if I was adding, adding a new subcategory to services to Good Morning Sunshine I would click the new subcategory and I would just fill in the, the information and the name of my category and if you have a label already pre-done for it you would can upload your label and 
basically you fill in your description. So now I'm going to go back to my Actually, no, I'm, we're in where we want to be, in the Good Morning, in the Services category. So I'm going to upload the services label that I've created. So I'm just going to click Choose File. And I've got my ECWID Labels folder here. So we'll just click there. And you'll see here it's got the HTM Files folder, which Zara will automatically generate when you export your page to HTML. So let's double click on that and there's all of our labels. <clears throat> now it's got two images. One is a larger image and one is a smaller image. It does this be because it it's uploading and creating the extra images for your devices, your Apple devices that have the uh, retina images which need the higher resolution images. So I'm going to upload these higher resolution images actually to Eckwood. So we've got nice high res images for our category labels. So I will start with the services category and I will let's make this just a little bit bigger so you can see there. Now you can see these better. <laughs> so we will start with the services and I will just double click that to open it. And there it is. And that's pretty much basically it. It's that simple. And then we come up here and we click Save. And now if I go back here to Zara, back to the website page and We'll preview the page again. And oh, Zara is taking its time again. Like I said, this normally goes so much faster when I'm not recording. And there we are. You can see my new label. It replaces the ugly one that was there before. That's all there really is to it. And if you go to your products, you can go through your different products and, and each product, I will go to my let's open the double size ad product. Let's click on that to open it. And I will go down here. You can see it's got this one and we're going to change it. So again, you simply choose file and we'll go to the double size display ad and we want the larger one. Simply double click and Equit is very fast at uploading this. And simply save your changes. and. That's basically all there is. You have to do each product and each category on its own. But you certainly did save time by batch exporting them from Zara. So I'm going to leave this video here. And I do hope that you learned something. And I hope that you enjoyed it. And I will be back again hopefully very soon with a new video and I'll show you a few more Equid features and a few more things you can do with your Equid store, store in Zara. Thanks for watching!